The damage was so devastating in Uvalde, parents had to do DNA swabs to identify the remains of their children, nine and ten year old children. When you see handguns, you often just see a little hole on the outside, or you know, on both sides. Shotguns, which are a little bit higher velocity, a little bit bigger, but assault weapons, it's much bigger. And so you can imagine that that, you know, what you see on the outside, that big soft tissue defect is also on the inside as well, right? And all the damage that that causes. And then sadly, and often there's more than one. So if it's multiple bullets, then there could be multiple injuries like that. If you have a, a handgun, usually just makes kind of a straight track, for example, through the liver. And that sometimes actually stops bleeding on its own, may not even need surgery, even in children. Sometimes we just watch those if they're not actively bleeding. Whereas these high velocity ones, you can imagine instead of a hole or a track going straight through the liver, the whole liver may be in three or four pieces, depending on the extent of the damage. There's pictures, for example, of bullets being shot through ballistic gels. And if you compare a handgun, the blast effect or the cavitation effect, it's still wide, but it's not as wide as those from these high velocity um, weapons. And what happens is basically the bullet goes in and it forms a large cavity that then causes a lot of bleeding from vessels. And the organs, for example, like the liver or the spleen that aren't very elastic, they can't handle that. They, they would basically rupture. In the lungs, because it's, the tissue is more elastic, they can just cause a cavity and kind of push things out of the way. But in solid organs, they, they basically shatter them. We all are pretty used to taking care of um, children injured by guns. Uh, a lot of them are handguns. And um, if you live in a major city uh, and work at a major trauma center, like I do, then they can get to you pretty quickly. And children with handgun injuries that can get to you pretty quickly, even if they're to the chest or the abdomen, can often be saved in the, you know, with surgery, with timely surgery. You have to be in the right place. So you have to be in a trauma center that has the right resources, that has everything that you need for that. Whereas assault weapons cause such large injuries and cause so much more internal damage than, than the other ones do, children have half the blood volume that adults do. And so you can imagine that the amount of blood that they lose for that to, to stop their hearts is a lot faster than it would be for an adult. Um, in order for those to be saved by a surgeon, they would have to be in one of these really high resource trauma centers almost immediately, which is basically impossible. It can't just be any person who sees them. They have to be in a level one trauma center where there's a massive amounts of blood available and all the equipment that you need and many surgeons and different techniques that you might need. And those are very few. There's like less than 50 pediatric trauma centers like that in the country, especially in these rural places. They're not going to get to those places on time. For this minutes really, really matter. And it's almost unsurvivable, essentially. According to new data just released by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, guns are the number one killer of children in the United States of America. The number one killer. More than car accidents, more than cancer. We spend our entire careers, our entire lives training to save kids from things like cancer or illnesses that they can't help but have. To hear this, that that's the number one cause, you know, something that's preventable. It's usually, you know, in a lot of cases, it's it's not that the children were involved in criminal, criminal activities, activities. Certainly there are cases of those as well, but there are, in a lot of cases, they're innocent. They're innocent bystanders of this. And it's really, really sad that that's now the number one cause of death. It's shocking, actually.